Yeah, I, I mean, I would have, I would have lost anyway. So let, let, let's do this again. This is, it's really going to bankrupt me, isn't it? Oh, there we go. We actually did gain 125 winnings. Oh, very nice. Come on, yeah, there we go. Eliminate him and then run away. Yes. And obviously, uh, I do have some grenades here as well. So maybe I can use those. Ah, grenades, take that. Hello, reformers, and welcome to a preview of Season 4 of Freeman Guerrilla Warfare. Now, the update that was scheduled to come from the developers this weekend has been delayed just a little bit because they want to make sure that when there is a save game incompatible update coming or something along those lines, a pretty major update, they want to make sure that it is stable and they want to make sure that it, no game breaking bugs are happening. And so that's why what they've done is they have uploaded a test version to the betas tab on Steam. And if you'd like to check that out, you can very easily navigate to your betas tab in the properties menu of Freeman and you can try version 0 0.180 yourself. And otherwise, I'm going to start a new campaign. And we're going to try some of these new things. Now, let's see if I can do that. There we go. Let's start this. And we're going to be... Uh, mm, uh, yes, now I, I'm always absolutely... Uh, yes, what, what, what is it now? Fourth fourth reform, isn't it? The, 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 fourth, the fourth reform or something like that? Yeah, anyway, we're going to go with that. And uh, yes, yeah, so obviously my name. There we go. And we'll go with that. All right. So, we begin. Welcome, Commander. Yes, thank you. All right, so let us take a look. Okay, so this is this is the entirely new party screen. You can see here that we have vehicles. We have a vehicle tab. I have not loaded this up beforehand, by the way, because I want the natural reaction from me to come out here. And let's have a look at what we actually have. All right, so we have some armed civilians, and we have female civilians as well. That's cool. That is really cool. That adds a lot of unit diversity there. And we also, of course, have Anna, who uh, has not been shown in my series for a while because apparently there was some kind of bug with the previous version. And Yeah, well, never mind. She is now available. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, so let me just rename this. I'm going to rename this... Uh, I, I guess I'm literally just going to go for the same kind of thing. We're going to make everyone hungry by calling it chocolate. And we're going to rename the other squad. And we're going to call this one pancakes. So we're going to go with chocolate and pancakes right here. And uh, Anna and her friend, female militia, <laughs> are going to go into this one. So let's change the squad icon as well. Ah, seems to have added a whole bunch more squad icons as well. Very happy to see that. Let's give it uh, Anna's icon right there. And uh, I actually think, you know what we're going to do? We're actually just going to like separate these. Because, you know, it would just make sense to have a little bit of extra people go with Anna. And these guys can just go by themselves. And they'll be absolutely fine. So apart from that, what else do we have here? Well, you, as you can see, we have the... Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. We can actually pay a little bit of cash to improve their health and accuracy and maybe their speed as well. Let me actually just take a quick look here. I think that's actually true. Let me try it out. All right, so yeah, there you go. Lost 50 credits, eight accuracy. She now has nine accuracy, now has 10 accuracy. So you can see there that there are active upgrades and well, the active upgrades are of course going to be more expensive as you go on because they are going to be much more important as you progress. Anyway, there you go. That's a that's a pretty cool feature, actually. And what is this? I'm actually unsure what this is. So I'm not going to click it right now because it seems to be 150... Wait, that's not 150,000, is it? That's, yeah, that, that, that is 150,000, yes. 150,000, that's pretty crazy. Anyway, let's see what else I have here. Okay, so the inventory screen, obviously we do have our six assignable attribute points right here, and we have our commanding and explosives and all that sort of stuff. All right, so I did say in my previous episode of season three that I was going to create some kind of awesome short range build, and that's exactly what I'm going to try and do here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go for a little bit of agility here. I would like to get some intelligence just because it gives us extra experience. 
And I'd like to get some constitution as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a kind of, uh, kind of spread out points. Not particularly happy with my point spread there, but I think we'll be fine at the moment. And is there anything else we want to go for here? Well, obviously we want to go for something like probably looting is going to make a big difference. So I'm just going to spec a point in that and we'll get a point in navigation and I think a point in inventory would probably help us out a little bit as well. And I'm thinking we're probably going to use SMGs. I don't think we're going to use assault rifles. Maybe we'll use a sniper rifle or something like that. Melee would actually be really, really cool as well. Oh, this, oh, this actually increases melee weapon damage. Oh, that's cool. That is actually really cool. So yeah, I'm hoping to get a melee weapon as soon as possible. And I guess, you know what we're going to do? We'll just, we'll just spec a couple of points in SMG and we'll go spec a couple of points in melee. As I say, we're going to be one of those short range guys that is running around and trying to do a lot of damage. Alright, so we do have quests here, but uh, obviously that's not implemented just yet. And we're going to go into Antipil here. Just want to make sure I'm not going to click on anything by mistake. And, you can see, we have rest, so we can pay to, to rest in the hotel here. And we can also have a contract board. Oh, now this is cool. Alright, so these are of course just generic quests, and that means that we'll be able to get a lot of experience and indeed money as a result. Okay. Eliminate one bandit army and come back to Antipil for rewards. There's a time limit on this. That's that's very interesting. Usually these kinds of quests will not have a time limit, so I'm very interested to see how that goes. And also, Korak Iron Mine is in need of tools. Collect 12 tools and deliver them to Korak Iron Mine. This actually gives me a huge amount of money. But let me just take a quick look at the merchant here because I don't exactly know where tools are going to be. Where, where, are, where are some tools here? We need 12 tools. So I don't really... Ah, oh, there's the tools. Oh, that's actually a lot. Yeah, that is very, very expensive. And there's not many tools here. So you're going to need to go to all kinds of different areas to get that. There is also gambling. There's also gambling. You can play a version of Blackjack. And uh, I'm actually not too bad at Blackjack, or at least I used to be. Uh, let's see if I can... Uh, I'm going to bet 50. Alright, let's deal. Okay, let's do this. Oh wow, okay, a 12? Are you serious? Oh, that is awful. Okay, I'm going to have to hit, really. Ah, uh, Yeah, I, I mean, I would have I would have lost anyway. So let, let, let's do this again. This is... It's really going to bankrupt me, isn't it? Oh, there we go. We actually did gain 125 winnings. Oh, very nice. Okay, so... How, so I, I started with 2,000 credits by the looks of things, and I've now just gained 2,125. Okay, so I'm going to continue to bet 50 here. Oh, nice. Okay, so... Hmm... Usually it's a good idea to stand at this point, so I'm probably going to do that. Maybe... Ah... I was hopeful that maybe he'd get like a smaller smaller value and then we'd be then we'd be okay oh well never mind okay so let's just continue oh 18 we're gonna have to stand with that there's 15 and a 5 wow that was unlucky that was unlucky i mean it is always in the house's favor of course so yeah that is going to be a bit of an issue 16 all right we'll stand with that 9 20 wow very lucky indeed okay well let's let's continue okay let, let's let's hit here and now I'm going to get a 10. Oh no. Okay, so if he gets a 10, it's going to be 19. Yeah, or 20 in this case. Wow. Yeah, so th there is gambling. There is actually gambling. Let me let me just see if I can win one more time. Oh yeah, nice. Okay. Oh yeah, there we go. Thank you very much. Okay, so I'm, I'm out of here now. Thank you very much. Okay, so can I... How do I leave? Oh, there we go. Thank you. Okay, so that has <laughs> that has taken a little bit of my cash, as you can see. I lost 125. Not really a big deal, in my opinion, but it's actually a really nice addition to the game. There's also vehicles. Oh yeah, there's also vehicles. So you have speed 33 for these various vans here. You also have fuel consumption. As you can see in the top right, we do have a new resource in terms of fuel, which... I'm actually wondering whether you can pick that up in the form of gasoline. I think that is actually the case. So that's cool in itself, being able to 
you know, do bandit fights and find fuel from the loot. And I have a machete here that I can buy, so I'm actually going to buy that because obviously I'd like to be in melee pretty soon. Uh, there's actually a knife here as well. I'm actually unsure what I should use. I guess I'll just use the machete for now. We'll just pretend we're Jason or something. And uh, I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, I think we can actually fight quite a few people here. Okay, so as you can also see, they have added this wonderful quality of life effect, which is red and green rings around enemies and allies, respectively. Because you want to be able to see exactly who's an enemy and who's an ally. And I think that's really cool, because obviously... If you are not wanting to like zoom in or strain your eyes a little bit, you're going to be able to see exactly who you are going to attack or exactly who's around you. And I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so there's actually... Oh, here we go. Okay, so there's fast deployment. There is actually a button called fast deployment here. Shall we try out the fast deployment? Let's try it out. All right. And we also have auto combat. Oh. Ooh, I... Okay, okay, okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm literally just going to let my people do their own thing. And this is going to be very interesting because I'd like to see exactly how the AI decides to tell our units how to move. Because I'm wondering whether it's going to be as good or maybe as bad as I may play. And we'll see how that goes. I think that could be pretty awesome to see. And let's actually just see what they're doing right now. Hmm, it doesn't seem like I can actually see that unless I cancel auto combat. Well, this is actually pretty cool. I, I would personally, if I am being honest here, personally, I would not allow, if you are playing this as well, I, I personally would recommend against allowing the AI to take over your units in the first ever battle. Because I think that auto combat is probably for those of us that may get higher tier units and then have uh, basically no real challenge against actual looters unless there's a very very big party of them and as a result auto combat would be very very useful but in this case I think it's 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 maybe not gonna work out too well so we're just gonna tell our forces just to go over here we're gonna allow these guys to just do auto combat but we need our friends here to actually come in and help us out. I only have 18 armor as well, by the way, so we need to be a little bit careful. Yeah, you can see here that we're actually losing a whole bunch of units, and that is, that's just because there's not really, you know, they're not really that good at the moment. Uh, I would expect it to be much, much better for, come on, yeah, there we go. Eliminate him and then run away, yes. Okay, yes, thank you very much. Okay, now let me see if I can heal myself. Phew! Okay, that was that was kind of close. And we, of course, are losing most of our civilians here. Can, can we can we actually just tell them to kind of run away or something? Chocolate's not doing very well. Okay. Okay, I do have a do have a pistol, so I suppose I should use that. Ow! Okay, Anna is getting a kill as well. That's very nice to see that. And I might actually die here. Oh. Okay. Very. Ow. Okay, so I did actually die, but I'm actually wondering what's going to happen. Oh, okay, so engage without me. I guess we can do that. And, well, I guess, uh, yeah, I guess that's exactly the reason why you probably don't want to allow the AI to, you know, do its own thing. In the first battle, at least. In the first battle. In other things, like, as I say, when you have your higher tier units, you're probably going to have a much, much better time of things. I did actually get a kill there, though, which I'm pretty happy with, you know, being able to get a melee kill almost immediately. That's, that's probably not advisable, but I'm fine with it. Alright, so you return to me when we are now ready to take on a contract. Now, I've done a little bit of selling and manipulating of my inventory here. So, I don't know whether you knew, but I actually had a whole bunch of 
random stuff in my inventory, including the gasoline, by the way. So the gasoline actually does count as fuel for the vehicles in the game. So if you have a little bit of gasoline in your inventory, you'll be able to use the vehicles. And the vehicles, as far as I'm aware, will improve the speed at which you move on the world map. Now, obviously, we are not going to be seeing vehicles in actual battles for a while. I'm not entirely sure when, if, if at all, but anyway, that is a pretty cool thing in my opinion. Now, I, what I've also done is I purchased a battle axe for about 500. I was able to sell most of the random stuff for about 1500 in my inventory, and that's why I was able to get a little bit of extra cash. And I also hired about nine FCA recruits. And uh, yeah, hopefully that has bolstered us enough to be able to continue onward. Now, as you can see here, the quests refresh pretty quickly. So I need to get 10 luxury wine. I think that's going to be a bit too difficult for me to do. And nine dried fish. The time limit is 100 seconds. I'm not entirely sure how, how harsh that is. So let's just deliver some important files to, to Babin. To Babin? Yes, I guess. Let's do that. Let us do that immediately. So where where is where is Babin actually? Oh, it's all the way over there. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So I need to do this. Do I actually need to do this within a hundred seconds, or is it is it is it literally just like just a, a a random random sort of time? I'm not entirely sure, but I'd actually like to fight these people. I would actually like to fight these guys. And this time, oh look at that! that they've actually changed the amount of relation that you lose. That's pretty good actually because before you'd lose about 50 relation every single time you would you know go into battle and uh, try and attack some of these guys. So that's pretty nice that you only lose it seems like one at the moment so that's a that's a nice change in my opinion. Alright so I actually did buy some additional first aid kits here and uh, you can also see that I I did actually splurge a little bit on my own equipment. I haven't actually leveled myself up at all. I haven't got any, any any additional experience or anything like that. But I wanted to try out that high camouflage build. And as this is just a preview of Season 4, I thought I, uh, I might have a little bit of liberty to do that. But anyway, I am ready. Let's do this. Let us let all of our people get up here and I'm, I'm literally just gonna melee I'm literally just gonna melee because personally I don't like using the <laughs> I don't like using the pistols that much I I feel like the pistols I, I, I don't know I don't find them that satisfaction feeling you know I don't find that sort of satisfactory you know sort of thing when it when it shoots things even though it does actually sound very good and pretty satisfying I'd very much appreciate trying to use ah there they are there's the opponent and our forces have started firing. I'm going to tell them just to actually charge towards this tree line because I don't want them caught out of position, you know. I want to get them into the best possible position they can be in. And let's tell them all to hold position with the exception of these guys who do need to get over here, actually. Let's tell them to get over there. And we're going to start killing them. Yeah, we're going to start killing them. So the auto combat, I think, personally, as I've said before, is literally just for when you have high level units and you just want to eliminate a band of looters without really worrying too much and without doing too much in terms of tactics or anything like that. Because at that point, when you have a whole bunch of FCA juggernauts or, you know, something along those lines, when you have those... You don't really need to worry too much, if at all, about whether they're going to die or not. And obviously, the only time that you're going to have to worry about that is if you have five of them against 50 enemies. Obviously, that is going to be a bit a bit much, you know. But right now, I don't think we really need to worry about auto combat, at least at the moment. I'd very much like to explore it a little bit more when we have higher tier units. And I'm going to see if I can sneak up on a couple of these guys. Because I do actually have a bunch of camouflage now. As I said, I wanted to test that out for quite some time. Let's do this. Oh yeah, take that, looter. Oh yes, I'm hiding behind the bushes. And I'm coming out. Hello there. Okay, come on, come on, come on, take him out. There we go. 
Yeah, there we go. Take out that guy as well. I don't have that much HP. Just bear that in mind. I don't have that much HP. Ah, yes, I did get killed. But, but, <laughs> we did actually get a pretty decent amount of kills. And we also achieved victory because I was able to eliminate most of the enemies. And, uh, yeah, we can now see exactly what we want to take here. I actually want to take all of this, apart from the ammo. I don't particularly want to get the ammo at the moment. I don't think I really need it. And, uh, oh, they actually get, oh, nice. Frag grenades as well, flashlights, some food, some of this, canteens, very nice. Energy drinks, compass, flashlight, there's gasoline. You'll be able to see the fuel in the top right of the screen increase to whatever number it may be. And that's it, there we go. So now we have 2,500, and there we go. We can imprison all of those guys. Very nice. And there you go. Our gasoline's back up to 2,000. And you can see a quality of life effect right here. We're able to see how many prisoners we have. Okay, so let's see if we can actually get these guys to join us. Very nice indeed. Nice. There we go. All right, so they're going to join us, and we are going to make those into their very own squad, and they are going to be... Uh, yeah, they're going to be the Dip Squad, I guess, because that's what I've been... Hot Sauce? Shall we just call... Let's call them Hot Sauce, because really, they're, they're going into very, very hot situations, aren't they? And we definitely want them to <laughs> be able to sort of, you know, be okay, I guess. Okay, so these guys... This guy... Oh, this guy's actually just using a revolver. I'd like to get him something else, so I'm going to give him a K98. Seems like a good idea to me. And let's change their squad icon. There's some, oh, there's some really cool icons now as well. I like this icon. That's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping to see many more added as well, but obviously that's not a priority. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, this this guy, I guess. Yeah, that's probably pretty good. Okay, so obviously it's going to take us a bit of time to actually level these fellows up because I don't have that much in Instructor or anything like that, so it is going to take us a bit bit longer, shall we say, to level them up. However, we have leveled up, and I think it's a nice idea if we get another point in Agility, another point in Constitution, I'm going to get an additional point in Inventory, and I'm going to go for some additional points now in SMG, because eventually I'm going to be using an SMG. So let's go into Litvin here, and I think we can actually go and recruit some other units as well now, because in the previous version, as far as I'm aware, you were only able to recruit, I think, very rarely the other factions. FCA guys were pretty prevalent. They were very, very much available at the drop of a hat, whereas everything else, like the Posner and the ARF guys, they weren't very available so it's nice that we might be able to actually get to do that this time around and I'm gonna sell all of this loot you can see here that this loot actually makes a huge difference so taking all of these random objects and things really does give you a huge amount of cash and I'm very happy to see that so is there anything uh, there's some demand for tents here as well so yeah also I just have to highlight another quality of life improvement which is this little icon here, this little icon will show you exactly which town needs and indeed demands certain items and resources. So, for example, uh, Lipno at the moment needs gasoline. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like that. Okay, so let's take a look and see whether we can hire some ARF guys. There's an ARF militia squad. Oh, yeah, there we go. I miss those guys a lot, actually, because they're really, really cool. I like them a lot. So we are going to hire every single one of them. Even though it's very expensive, we are still going to do that. And we're going to actually take all these guys out. And we are going to put them in the pancakes group. Because I want Anna to be as protected as possible. And we're going to put six in each. I'm going to try and put six in each at the moment, because we have... Well, not, not really enough to do that, but we are, you know, we don't really have enough anyway to be able to have an even amount of units on the battlefield. So otherwise, what I'm going to be spending my money on is improving units like Anna, for example, and being able to actually, you know, have them 
be effective, you know? So, for example, I don't know why the van keeps coming up. That's kind of weird. But anyway, obviously there's going to be a whole bunch of bugs in this preview build, so if you see any bugs or anything like that, then obviously they're still working on this version. And I'm, go I'm going to improve the accuracy of these guys, as well as their health, by quite a bit, because I think these fellows could actually be really, really powerful if you give them the exact right stats. And hopefully these upgrades are not going to go away when they level up. Let's hope that's not the case. Anyway, let's go in against another 17. Actually, you know what? I can't do that at the moment because I'm actually really, really injured right now. So I, it seems like I'm going to have to go to the hospital. Where is the hospital? Is there no hospital anymore? Apparently there's no hospital anymore, so I'm just going to have to rest at the hotel instead. Alright, so we may be taking off a bit more than we can chew here, but I thought that they would definitely be able to give us a pretty sizable reward as a result of us being able to eliminate these guys. So let's see if we can actually do that by taking on the Uman Brotherhood once again. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to... I don't know whether it's... It's probably not advisable for me to run in with melee here. And so I'm probably just going to try and shoot them a little bit. Just to reduce their numbers. And then we might go in and see what we can do. But obviously it really depends on where they are. Because if they're surrounded by trees... Then we might have a much easier time of using melee. And uh, I might be a little bit too obsessed about melee at the moment. But I think it's actually really fun to run in there and actually have that additional I don't want to say challenge really because I mean getting shot in the face is not really a challenge I mean you can have that happen pretty easily in this game but I think it's just a little bit more risky I guess you could say I think that's probably what it is okay so if we can just make sure that we are not going to get shot from a very far distance away. I actually really like playing with an agility build at the moment the agility you can already I, I, well at least I can already feel that your movement speed is a lot quicker when playing with more agility. And I'm sure those of you that have taken points in agility beforehand have already found that out. However, obviously I have never really played with... Oh, that was that was actually pretty good. Okay. I'm actually kind of surprised <laughs> that I'm doing okay with the pistol. Ah. Let's get down. Let's get down and just fire away into the enemies. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a grenade. Ah, take this. I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw two grenades because I've got them. Yes. Oh, apparently there were no enemies there. All right. Well, I'm healing, very very slowly, but I am healing. Okay, let's tell everyone to proceed with caution here. And uh, what's actually going on here? Why are, why are we losing people? Why are we losing people? We should be in cover. There we go. That was a little bit too much recoil for my liking, but <laughs> I don't have anything in marksmanship, so obviously that's going to be the case. All right, so there is one left, and he is going to be murdered by my axe. Or is he? Yes, he is. Oh, that was really close. That was really, really close. All right, but just, just look, look at everything. Look at everything that we're getting here. This is exactly the reason why I wanted to attack the Uman Brotherhood, and they have rewarded us for our absolutely audacious attack against them by giving us an SMG. And I think this SMG is going to be really good. There's also some Kevlar body armor here. I'm actually wearing some armor that just gives me a little bit of extra camouflage more than anything. And, uh, yeah, I'm actually just going to take all of this. I think I can actually take all of this because I have a huge amount of space. So I'm just going to take all, and we're going to just swap out any of oh, wait a minute can they can they can they use that that's that's a 7.62 standard not tokarev right so i'm probably going to need to get the standard ammo instead let's take some more grenades there you go and we are able to imprison all of those guys as well fantastic so we might even get a couple of extra prisoners added to our ranks so let's just continue to persuade them oh that did not work what about propaganda? That worked a little bit better, but he still refused to join us. All right, well, I'm just going to release him then, I guess. And we're going to go into the small town over here. It's not really a small town, it's pretty large. But we're going to go in here anyway and take a look at 
the merchant. So we can actually sell a whole bunch of our stuff here. Shovels and things like that. I'm going to keep a couple of the grenades. But not too many, obviously. I'm going to sell this SMG as well. I'm going to sell the body armor because I don't need it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to give that to Anna because I think she could use that. And I'm going to give her this SMG as well. Maybe we can do a kind of pairing thing where we take basically the kind of same build or something like that so we can kind of synergize a little. But otherwise, I think I can sell this 9mm ammo now and we can... Sell the pants and the beer and the energy drink. We'll sell a couple more of these grenades. Don't really need too much of that. And we're now going to go into the weapon dealer and see if I can buy some of that standard. There we go. Nice. Nice. That's really nice. Okay, so let's get some more first aid kits as well. And we can now leave and go over to our inventory. And let's see. Where is it? There it is. And I don't really need to use the pistol any further, even though I'm actually... You know what? I'm just going to keep it on me, just in case. But otherwise, I'm just going to use this. Going to put some more grenades on my bar, more med kits, everything like that. We're, gr we're good. We're good. Okay, so I actually don't have that much experience to go until the next level, so I'd very much like to do that, if at all possible. There are some bandits here that I would be able to attack... But I think at the moment, I'm just going to go and see if I can complete this quest. It's been a very long time, by the way, since I took that quest. So I'm not entirely sure if I'll be able to complete it. It doesn't seem like that's the case. Eliminate three bandit armies. Ah. Okay, let's do that. Why not? And let's actually just take a look at our quests here. Yeah, it seems like that quest ran out of time. So, yeah, that's a bit of a shame. But, well, what can you do? Okay, so I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to rest, because there is no hospital anymore, so I'm going to need to rest to get my HP back. And uh, hopefully, we'll be able to find some bandits after that. Alright, so we're in battle against a couple of bandits here, and you can already see them on the horizon here. So I'm actually going to take our people over in this direction, and we're going to tell them to proceed with caution. I have not leveled up our forces just yet, and uh, that's a bit of a, hmm, it's a bit of a failing on my part, but... Uh, didn't really see whether they actually did after us fighting those Uman Brotherhood units. So let's see if we can actually do something here. I do have an SMG now, so maybe I'll be able to sneak up on people because I actually have a pretty decent amount of camouflage. And so I should be eh, kind of invisible, I guess. Not extremely invisible, of course, but I should be a little bit harder to spot as a result but maybe I need to be a little bit sneakier rather than just being like, oh, I'm just running across the fields and uh, all the daisies and dandelions and things. Yes, exactly, that kind of thing. But maybe if I can just sneak around a little bit, I might be able to do some damage. And obviously, uh, I do have some grenades here as well, so maybe I can use those. Ah, grenades, take that. Am I being what? Oh, there's another group over there. That's not good. That is not good. Let me let me just retreat a little bit. I actually thought that the entirety of the group was right there, and our forces were pinning them down, but it seems like that's not the case. So it seems like I might have to tell our forces to charge over here a little bit. Going to tell these guys to actually... Wait, no, not auto combat. Ah, I was actually trying to tell them to go over here. And we could tell those guys to proceed with caution. And then these fellows that are coming over here to maybe back me up a little bit. Maybe they can stay around here as a bit of a safeguard, perhaps. I think... Oh, there they are. Grenades! Uh, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Nope, seems not. Oh, hit someone. Oh, got him. Oh, nice. Wow, that's actually kind of surprising considering. I feel like the guns have been improved in some way. I feel like the accuracy of the guns and the way that they handle is a lot easier now. But maybe it's just because I've never used an SMG. That could be the reason. I actually have never used an SMG. Maybe once. So that's, that's pretty cool. And I mean, I suppose most of the 
seasons previously, I have mostly been attempting to use long-range assault rifles. So maybe that's making a bit of a difference there. Well, we're not doing too badly. There's only one enemy left, and we have... I don't think we've lost anyone. Have we lost anyone? I guess we'll, we'll see at the end. But I'm going to get my axe out, and we're going to see if I can find him. Where is he? Is he hiding? Nope. He's not hiding. He's dead. There you go. Oh, well, we did get five kills out of the 14 enemies, and we didn't lose anyone, which is actually pretty nice. Okay, so otherwise, we are going to take all of this because I can, and we're going to be imprisoning all of these, because we can. Oh yes. Alright, so I did actually level up, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spec once again another... I think I'm actually going to spec another two points into agility here, instead of agility constitution. And we're going to go for a kind of 100%, 50% kind of build with this, and maybe a little bit of leadership, just to increase our squad size. But obviously at the moment, it's probably not going to happen. Yeah, it's probably not going to happen. Okay, so what do we have here? Reduces the death rate of our soldiers or healing rate. Yeah, I'd like to get the healing rate. Thank you very much. I think that's going to be a little bit better for us. And I'm going to improve our SMG accuracy. I am going to need to get some marksmanship at some point once the SMG levels up to about 40 or so, probably. And uh, yeah, okay. So let's take a look at our party here. Everyone has leveled up. Have they? No, th just this guy in this party here, in this squad. And the FCA infantry will obviously be very, very powerful for us. And, oh, we've got some ARF Marines already? That's really nice. Okay, that's very cool. And these guys have not leveled up, but I don't blame them, I suppose. Let's put these Uman Brotherhood guys in this squad here as well. Alright, well, there's a small preview of uh, Season 4 and what will be coming with the update. And, uh, yeah, I'm actually very excited about it. It's extremely enjoyable. And uh, if you'd like to check it out, there is a link in the description to the game's store page. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.